AMD sent me this XFX RX 474 gig double D edition graphics card and this one has the ability to use the hard swap fans that you can see here and we'll talk about a little bit more later um, but basically this one is uh, obviously the fans can turn themselves off is, uh, is kind of becoming the norm which is quite nice and being an RX 470 it has 2048 stream processors this one has a boost clock of 1256 megahertz it also has 4 gigs of GDDR5 RAM running at an effective rate of 7000 megahertz and as I said it does have those hard swap fans that you can use. Now the backplate is actually pretty awesome, I really do like the look of it and the ventilated design and on the side you get the XFX logo which actually doesn't have an LED behind it uh, and it all, you also get the uh, three copper heat pipes and the 6 pin power connector which is all you need in terms of supplementary power. Now the rear I.O. is fairly simple, 3 display port 1.4 ports, an HDMI 2.0 port and a DVI-D port as well as a little bit of XFX branding and ventilation. Now the fans themselves, the, the hard swap fans, uh, currently only come in packs of blue, red and white with the stock fans coming on every graphics card no matter what you buy you will always get these fans and then you have to buy a separate pack of fans to be able to replace them. The actual system to replace them is fairly easy just just lift up the two tabs and make sure that when you put the new one in the power and sort of uh, contact points are on the right side and uh, other than that it's a very simple procedure. The LEDs are inside the hubs themselves because the blades are sort of translucent the light shines in uh, both down uh, onto the motherboard and the, the rest of the case and also obviously across the fan and I actually really do like the look of this uh, I really do like the styling of these and it's, it's very impressive to look at now in terms of performance if you're comparing this to the reference RX 470 this is a pretty uh, you know nice card you're seeing somewhere between 2 and 10 FPS improvements across the board so that's pretty awesome uh, one thing I would like to mention though is that the cooling system is really uh, a lot better on this versus the reference one um, with this card uh, maxing out about 76 degrees uh, under full load so I was quite impressed with that. Obviously it's a very handy 1080p card and even if you have a 144Hz monitor you're still going to see the benefit of having this over something like a RX 460 or similar. And even at 1440p, it's still fairly capable, although I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one directly for 1440p. And obviously this definitely isn't a 4K card, even when playing Doom, it still didn't feel like 35 FPS average. So if you're not after an RX 480, then this one is still pretty good, especially at 1080p. So for me, this is quite an interesting graphics card. Now, first of all, to talk about the fans, I really do like the style of them. I like the way that they shine light down into the case, um, and they are very, very stylish. I love the look of them, and that's awesome. They're also start-stop and pretty quiet as well, which means even under full load, you don't really notice it. And because this is only a single six-pin power connector graphics card, you're also not going to be drawing that much power too, which is awesome. Now to come on to the kind of uh, strange things about this, uh, there's two things that really stand out to me that are just, I can't really wrap my head around it. First thing is the price. Now in the UK at the time of filming, you can buy the exact same uh, double D hard swap fan edition RX 480, I believe it's the 4 gig model, but you can buy that one for £10 more than this card for the exact, basically the exact same cooler, uh, exact same amount of RAM, but obviously a much faster or a decent bit faster uh, GPU for 10 pounds more. Now for me, that, that just seems very strange because uh, with the whole thing about this, uh, with this card is that the hotspot fans are you know things that you have to take off buy another pack and then put those you know the red or the blue or the white led fans in now that's quite interesting because the price for the hot swap fans at the time of filming um is 19 uh, 19.99 so basically 20 dollars which uh, i believe would probably equate to about 15 pounds now if you were to spend that 15 pounds on those fans you personally i would suggest you you know go spend the 15 pounds on the rx480 version of this um, because that just makes more sense, you get more GPU horsepower, yes you get a slightly less stylish card but technically speaking you have £5 left in the bank anyway and uh, you can still, it's the same cooler, it's still the same sort of hot swap fans so if you want to buy the fans in a, at a later date then you still can do. For me it's just that those two things, that the price of it and the, the fact that the fans are optional accessories that you don't get and you have to, you know, um, if you do buy a pack of fans then you basically have two random graphics card fans that just are spare. They can't be put into your PC anywhere else, they can only be put into XFX hard swap graphics cards uh, and again if you've already bought two of them then you already have two sets of stock fans, uh, not including obviously any that you also bought in. So. 
for me, it's quite a, a sort of strange arrangement. I really do like the fans, I like the way they've done them uh, with the styling, but personally I wish that they just put RGB LEDs in the fans, and in the stock fans themselves and just ran with that, or even if they just do uh, sell them as a blue LED GPU, a red LED GPU, a stock one and a white one, like that sort of thing and just have them listed as basically the same thing but white, red, black and all that sort of stuff. I'd much prefer that personally as opposed to someone who has to buy this graphics card, go and buy another set of fans uh, just so that they have a GPU that matches their system or something like that. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the confusing thing for me. Now, of course, I could be wildly wrong on this or I could be missing something huge. So I'd really like to know what you think about this. Is this something that you would go and buy? Is this something um, that interests you? Or are you like me and kind of generally confused and think that it's not the, the best implementation? It's a nice idea, but again, I think for me personally, it's just it's a little bit strange. Now in terms of scoring, I'm going to go for, I think, uh, da, 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 4 for 5 money, I think. It's a, a good card and you def definitely get a good amount of performance, but it's just really overshadowed by the RX 480 that is that closely priced to it. In terms of performance, again, it's kind of overshadowed, it's decent, so I'm going to go for 4 again, but uh, I, I, um, and uh, functionality is going to be a 4 as well. Styling, I'm actually going to go with a 5. I really do like the card and I love the fans, especially in this kind of mixed configuration of red and blue uh, that I currently have in there. And uh, in terms of Titan Movie Score, I think we're go going to go for a 4 here as well. Again, it's a really nice card, uh, you know, it, there's, there's nothing wrong with it except for that it's really closely priced to the big brother, the RX480, um, and for the price of a pack of fans you can buy the RX481 so uh, again it's just it's, it's a very interesting car and I really would like to hear what you think about it in the comments down below. Other than that uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you're planning on buying this card or anything else please do use my Amazon affiliate link in the description down below. It genuinely helps me out and uh, keeps the uh, you know PCs on and actually keeps me doing uh, these projects like the uh, table, the budget DIY desk PC. Um, which if you haven't seen any of that already, uh, do go check out the videos. There'll be uh, one basically every Friday until uh, it's finished. Um, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. As I said, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful. Feel free to like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well. And we'll see you all in the next one.